Okay, good morning again. Thank you. Uh, not trivial, it's Friday. So um, I want to talk about uh, stress in the aspect of what's causing it. And everybody say, you know, I have a job, I have kids, I have a car, I have some stuff to take care of, I wake up in the morning, and everything is like, you know, too bad, and, and from the moment I open my eyes, it's all bad, and it's like building up, and there's accumulation, and everything is affecting and producing stresses, and it's right, everything is in your head except car crashes, but um, we can control a little bit uh, our environment in terms of acoustics and in terms of what we sense from the environment and cut down a little bit of the noise that is affecting us and this noise basically is what's causing the preload of what's stressing us. As people we can deal with stress, everybody can deal with stress. Uh, you wake up in the morning and you have stress so you gotta deal with it. As the guys mentioned before, um, the thing is we are preloaded with stuff that is happening uh, around us and this is what's causing the problem. Everybody's, most people are strong enough to deal with stress, but they're not strong enough to deal with stress when it's backed up by a bad environment and uh, noises. It can be sound, it can be light, it can be anything that is um, pumping input into our brain subconsciously. Uh, I'll give you an example. Somebody, uh, anybody here has an old fridge in his house that is making some noises, and like five, five minutes after it starts doing these noises, has, it has an orgasm, right? So th th this is, this is, this is a, almost the best example for stuff that is taking our head and our brain into a zone which is noisy and dirty, and it's keeping us from having clear thought and keeping us away from the uh, zone that was spoken of before. So um, I, I just want to uh, make a correlation between um, the audio spectrum, the light spectrum, and the uh, emotional spectrum. The, the connection is very basic. You have the low frequencies, you have mid frequencies of sound, you have high frequencies in sound, of sound, and from there up, it's uh, electromagnetics and light. All of those are basically sound. Even light is sound, but it's a different kind, it, it's a different portion of the spectrum, and it's less noticeable. Um, so. Let's take, for example, uh, a very low frequency, um, 12 hertz. This, this specific frequency, 12 hertz, can give you immediate anxiety, and after three minutes, you'll begin shaking, and you would not know what's going on with you. Your brain is getting fuzzy, uh, and after that, sweating, and you know, you know the rest. So uh, now this frequency can be produced by anything that is happening around you. I mean, even if you live by a bridge and there's a car that bounces off the bridge, on the bridge, and the bridge is vibrating in 12 hertz, after six or seven years living in that house, you would be, you would go crazy. And you wouldn't even know what's causing it. Uh, another example, except the fridge and the bridge, is uh, the example of motors that is uh, that are surrounding us like air conditions uh, even that small thing inside the projector over there is buzzing now you say yeah it's it's a buzz i can ignore that pocket you know let let it go i'll forget it in five minutes you will not it will go it will register in your brain assuming you have one and then six or seven hours later you will be still fuzzy and you won't understand why and then you I mean, I if you're an aware person, you will start analyzing what did that. Oh, I mean, uh, I, I cannot concentrate. I'm sitting here like six or seven hours. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to do something, and then I cannot do it. Why can I? Why can I not ignore that or ignore this or ignore the people talking around me, speaking? Why can I not ignore um, uh, uh, my son having problem at school. Just give me five minutes of concentration. I'll finish the job. You cannot do that. Why? 
because the noise is preventing you to do from doing it and it will not go away unless you turn it off and so on and so on and so on so the uh, the correlation between uh, emotions sensations and 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 um, feelings is simply uh, straightforward low frequencies are uh, in in the sound spectrum low frequencies are responsible for basic emotions the higher you get with the frequencies the more complex the emotions are and so on and so on some uh, uh, in, the, in the top uh, top end of the audio spectrum the, uh, the spectrum that we can hear there are more complex emotions and sometimes there are mixed emotions and this is this is basically music because music is what happens when somebody has an inspiration and he wants to express his emotions and so he m expresses them in music and then we are decoding it back on when we are listening to the music the same thing happens with noise except that in noise there was an engineer that said you know what this motor is going to work in 50 hertz and that's the, that this is his music and then we sit at home and our refrigerator is working, the compressor is working 50 hertz, and then we are exposed because our brain is subconsciously decoding this, and we are not aware of that. So let's, uh, le let's say that we could isolate ourselves from noise and from everything, and we live in like a bubble of sensory deprivation. This is the exact same thing. I mean, because our brain needs input 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 we need to feed it with the right input and the right input is what will give us the uh, ability to go and stay most of our time if we want hopefully in that zone where we have the top uh, ability to create top ability to analyze information and top ability to not give anything about what's going outside so how do we regulate what we do? How do we um, rehabilitate something? Uh, how do we eliminate uh, a problem of stress in someone specifically? Now, every we, we are all individuals. Um, I, I, I could go home and listen to Metallica and, 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 and feel like I'm relaxed and I'm in my zone and everything. Uh, my neighbor is going crazy over it. Everything is individual. When we are going to study if we come and study uh, a person and, and, and try to understand how can we help this guy, how can we help this woman get rid of the stress, get rid of all the negative emotions. Get, uh, um, it's very complex, but we do have families and neighborhoods of, of things that, of, of uh, emotions and uh, let's say kinds of music or kinds of tones or anything else that we know that in this neighborhood of low frequency, this might help, this will do the job. So, um, uh, and, and most of the time it's something that the, the, the uh, person is not aware of. Let's say, uh, I gave this example for somebody, uh, to somebody last week. Let's say we have a truck driver and he's like completely stressed out and we don't know why and we start analyzing what's going on uh, around this guy and we say, okay, um, he lives in a specific place, he does a specific job, and he's exposed to a specific environment. But this environment is not not what causing it. It's, this is not the cause. I mean, if, if we isolate this and we isolate that, of course everything accumulates, but it's not it. This, this, is, not, this is not the cause. What is the cause of, of this guy's stress? He's, he's li just listening to the wrong music. So... Um, not necessarily fixing this will fix his problem. But this is one, one of the elements that will allow us to uh, examine uh, the problem in a more uh, neutral environment. We eliminate this and we eliminate that. So um, we, know that we, have, we know we have a connection between sound and light and uh, electromagnetic frequencies uh, to stress. So how can we counteract those uh, uh, phenomena in order to make somebody feel better during the day, during his whole life. Um, there's no point in antiphasing. There's no way to antiphase that. The only way uh, to counteract the um, effects of noises, 
and pollution on our brain is to just reset it, get it back to where it, to the comfort zone of its own life and environment. And once once we get to the specific place, it it will heal itself. This is the, the, this is the basic idea. There's no, you can go around like me wearing noise cancellation headphones all day, but this will not fix the problem, and this it, it will only isolate you from the environment, which is good. Sometimes you don't want to hear some, uh, somebody cursing in Russian on the train, but it will not fix my problems. The only thing that will fi fix my problems is if I expose myself, or somebody else will expose me to something that will get me into a specific zone in which my brain and my body can heal themselves which is something natural that happens. We know we have the ability to heal ourselves, but we need the environment and we need the knowledge and we need the uh, uh, terms to make this happen. As long as we are exposed to the pollution and as long as we are exposed to the noise and we don't know what is the source of the problem, we will not heal ourselves. Nothing can happen. It, can only, it, it will happen on a very small amount of healing or a very small amount of, of reassuring ourselves that someday in the future, 10, 20 years from now, it will be okay. But it, we cannot heal ourselves if we are always, always exposed continuously to stuff that is uh, blocking our brain and blocking our body from doing this specific healing process, which is naturally happening. It, it happens when we are sleeping. It, happen, it happens when we are resting and it happens when we are in a party dancing. It does happen. When we are uniphasing with our environment, that means that uh, uniphasing, uh, I'll give you one minute about uniphasing. Uniphasing is the zone. This is the, the uh, physical explanation of the zoning. Uh, our brain waves are in sync and in phase, two different things, with our environment. This is what happens when we go to a club and we dance. This is why people taking drugs when they go to dance, because they cannot zone in by themselves. They need something that will help them zone in into the music or into the beat or whatever the, uh, they're doing. So this uniphasing is achievable um, in, in a way that if we know what is, the, uh, what is the interference to our brain, what is causing the problem, if we know that, even generally, we don't need to be very specific. It doesn't. Uh, we don't need to ask the guy. Listen, what kind of uh, what kind of fridge do you have in your house? What kind of car you're driving? We don't need that. We don't need that. We only need to understand what is this person, specific person, uh, way of zoning, of uniphasing with the environment. Once we have that information, we can cure or we, don't, we do not feel, we just, we can allow him the environment that will allow his brain and his body to heal themselves, basically, that's it. So, uh, in, in terms of uh, sound therapy, music therapy, and everything that has to do with, with that, uh, in my opinion, this is, it's not, we, we're not, uh, there's no way to cure somebody with sound. You can cure um, tissue. You can cure. Uh, you can dissolve some clusters of, 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 of elements in your in your stomach. You can break down uh, kidney stones with uh, ultrasound. But this is not curing. This is not curing. This is not therapy. The, the the body is doing the whole work. But you need to allow the body the conditions and the terms to do that job. And to do that job is. Uh, to, to get the body into this specific zoning or uh, condition that it says, okay, now I'm relaxed, now I'm in a good place, now I can take the time and cure myself. And that's th this, is, this is the way. You just need to find the place and the zone. And I, I think the uh, future of uh, music therapy and sound therapy and everything that has to do with eliminating stress causes is going to focus on this. The way to get the guy, the woman, the kids into the zone, and the body and the brain will just do its own job. That's it.